Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to install the Diode Dynamics SSC-1 Hitch Mount Pod Kit on our 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Sport. Come on, let's go. All right, so let's open this one up and check what's in the box. All right, so in the box is basically we're gonna receive the instruction. Then we're gonna receive some decals, stickos, and the actual light. Can I get that from the bottom? Can I get that? All right. So we got the light. So I got just the reverse one. So yeah, and it got the adapter uh, that plugs in to the uh, trailer uh, plug. So yeah, nice. So it has that DT connector, four pin DT connectors in there, which plugs in here in the back. Very quick install. It also includes some zip ties. If you want to secure your cable, of course, your harness in there. So yeah, so for this one, uh, I will be using a locking hitch uh, pin. So I will be cutting this uh, tabs in here just to uh, keep it secure. So yeah, there you go. Nice plastic though. So it has that diodynamics uh, etching in there. So yeah. So I'm excited about this. I didn't get the brake function because I don't need that. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this one. All right, so come on, let's install it. All right, just so just to test fit it, I'm just gonna slide this with the tabs on. There you go. It doesn't sit flush on the actual hitch because it actually locks up if you're using the tabs so we're gonna be using the hitch pin uh, on this yeah so it looks good all right so these are the led reverse light that i have installed on this forerunner so let's check them out All right, so since I'll be using a hitch pin, a locking pin on this, so I need to cut the tabs. So in the instruction, it says that I need to push this, push this outward and cut them uh, with something. So I tried to do that. And this is the hitch pin that I got. So this is just a generic uh, hitch, hitch pin. It's a locking hitch pin. Uh, that I got from Amazon. So if you would like to purchase this, I'll put the link in the description below. I don't remember how much. I think it's about $20 uh, for this. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, it feels heavy, heavy duty on it. Uh, it has this rings basically just to avoid rattles. So yeah, so let's cut this. All right, so I don't have the proper cutter in this one. So what I'm going to do is I'll be using this to score uh, a line in here so that I can just cut it or yeah push it or cut it with the actual blade cutter a box cutter so I just need to score this one out it is kind of soft though so yeah so just do this on both end on both sides and then you can just push it and basically do the cut. I'll try to score it as deep as I can. All right, so I have a box cutter in here. The blade's kind of dull. So I have to deal with what I have right now. There you go, it snaps. All right, so now we have a clear way for our hitch pin. Let's test it. 
All right, so we're just gonna test if the hitch pin that I bought fits. Fits perfectly in there, yep. No issue, so yes. All right, so now let's go to the car now. Enough talking. All right, so we need to remove the harness here in the back. Basically behind this or on top of this one, it is plug in in there. So let me show you, let me get a better angle. So there you go. So you have to unplug that and plug in the harness from Diodynamics. All right, so I successfully removed this one out. You need to have a lot of patience. Uh, but the right technique though, to uh, press the clip and just push up, pull it out, uh, and just basically unplug this. It's a little tight uh, in there. But yeah, so we're gonna put the Diodynamics piggyback harness on this one. And basically, that's it. All right, so there you have it. A little struggle though with the uh, harness, but uh, I managed to uh, install it properly. It's just I'm just having a hard time reaching it because I have the limited body kit here. So yeah, but that one, it looks nice. So again, I'm using this locking hitch pin. I like it because it has this uh, rubber rings in here just to avoid it from excessive vibration. But yeah, so it's, it's nice. So let's check it. All right, so this one, you can see it has that low power red backlight in there. It serves and it works together with the uh, park lights or the, uh, yeah, park lights, marker, side markers. So yeah, well, yep. So now let's check the actual reverse light feature. Okay, again, we're going to check the reverse light feature. All right, so if you can see here, the hitch light helps a lot. So it's very bright, I like it. So if you find this video helpful, please consider in subscribing. Thank you for watching.